Czechoslovakia alarmed by pro-Putin night wolves bikers base. The Slovak Foreign Ministry says it is disturbing that the Night Wolves, a Russian nationalist biker gang close to President Vladimir Putin, now have a base in Slovakia. The base has old military vehicles and lies in Dolna Krupa, a village 70 kilometers, 44 miles, from the capital Bratislava. The Russian government calls it the Night Wolves European headquarters. The bikers are under U.S. sanctions, accused of providing military help for the pro-Russian rebels in Ukraine, Slovak Foreign Ministry spokesman Peter Susko told the BBC that the Night Wolf's activities would have to be carefully monitored. We think the influence of their members is harmful, especially in spreading their opinions that strive to rewrite history, he said in a phone interview. When asked to specify those controversial opinions he said that Crimea is, was and will be Russian, that Stalin was a great hero, that NATO is a criminal organization, etc. Bikers Slovak supporters. Slovakia is a member of both NATO and the EU. Formerly part of communist Czechoslovakia, it was an ally of Moscow during the Cold War. A Slovak nationalist group called NV Europa, led by Joseph Hambalek is sharing the compound with the Night Wolves. Last week he threatened Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty journalists who were filming outside the base. The Russian bikers say they are turning the site into a World War II museum honoring Soviet units who used motorbikes. Mr. Susko said they claim to be a club and they are not a government organization, so it's difficult to intervene through the Russian embassy. It's a case of clear concern that people who express views directly contrasting with the foreign policy outlook of Slovakia are trying to organize themselves on the territory of Slovakia, he said. Read more on related topics. So who are the Night Wolves? Their leader Alexander Zoldistanov, known as the Surgeon, has appeared often alongside President Putin. Indeed, in 2011 Mr. Putin rode with the Night Wolves at a biker festival in Novorossiysk. In 2013 Mr. Putin pinned a Russian Medal of Honor on Mr. Zoldistanov. The US government accuses the Night Wolves of direct involvement in the Ukraine conflict. Mr. Zoldistanov is among many Russian political and military figures on the sanctions list accused of involvement in the Russian annexation of Crimea in 2014 and or the Donbass separatists' revolt against Ukraine. Two businesses linked to the bikers are also on the sanctions list, Wolf Holding of Security Structures, allegedly a supplier of military services, and Bike Center, allegedly run by Mr. Zoldistanov. The U.S. government says the Night Wolves have been closely connected to the Russian special services, have helped to recruit separatist fighters for Donetsk and Lyuhansk, Ukraine, and were deployed to the cities of Lyuhansk and Kharkiv. It says that during the annexation of Crimea the Night Wolves participated in the storming of the gas distribution station in Strykalkov and the storming of the Ukrainian naval forces headquarters in Shevastopol. Slovak TV Novny reports that the Night Wolves have more than 5,000 members and branches in several European countries, including Serbia, Romania, Macedonia and Bulgaria. Slovakia is on the bikers' route when they ride across Europe annually to mark the WW2 victory anniversary. In 2016 Latvia expelled the local Night Wolves chief, Igor Lakatos, for security reasons and Poland banned the bikers from entering the country, a move that infuriated the Russian foreign ministry. What does Mr. Zoldistanov say? In a statement, in Russian, quoted by Mr. Hambalek, the Night Wolves leader linked his new base in Slovakia to the Soviet liberation of the country in World War II. In Slovakia they pay homage to the heroes who liberated the world from fascism, so the creation of the museum complex, dedicated to the events of World War II, is logical, legitimate and desirable, Mr. Zoldistanov wrote. The liberal Western media, gripped by Russophobia and infected with anti-Soviet prejudice, have attacked this historical museum that is being set up painstakingly by enthusiasts, attacked it foaming at the mouth and yelling grab it all and share it out. He makes frequent trips to Crimea, where he defends Russia's annexation of the peninsula, the population of which is mainly ethnic Russian.